base, explorers between the lines. Three, two, one, go! Well, let's see, Red Alliance gonna bring it back on this one. We'll see what they can do in the Sandstorm period. Red Alliance, they have Commodores lining up a hash panel on the nose cone of that Red Alliance cargo ship. Nerd Herd over on Blue successfully places a hash panel on the cargo ship using that very reliable vision system they have here in the Sandstorm period. Blue Alliance coming into the early lead. Well, we have already Prometheus on Blue. They're making their way into a defensive position. And Falcon Spartabots on the Blue Alliance. Spartabots making their way over towards the far side. Rocket for the Blue Alliance. Spartabots placing that hatch panel for two points on the Blue Alliance side. On the red, we have CPR. They've got cargo in their machine. They're going to line it up on the Red Alliance cargo ship. They scored one. They scored two so far in that Red Alliance cargo ship. Four pieces scored so far, actually, in that cargo ship. It looks like CPR is going to go for some more. CPR now switching over to hash panels, placing one on that Red Alliance cargo ship so far. On the blue side, Nerd Herd is working on the second hash panel for the lower level of that Blue Alliance rocket, getting some defense from the Commodores. Commodores moving over now, going to defend against... Spartabots on blue. Spartabots has two pieces of hatch panel on that blue lens cart rocket ship, and they're trying to get some cargo placed, but that defense from the Commodore is preventing them from getting in there. Commodore's pushed them around, but it looks like Spartabots gonna swung around and scored in the nose cone of the cargo ship instead. Now here comes Nerd Herd on blue. They've got two hatch panels in place, but that piece of cargo wasn't able to score in that Blue Alliance rocket. Blue Alliance is still leading as we approach T minus 60 seconds until liftoff. CPR Robotics. They've grabbed one of those pieces of cargo from their depot. They score in the nose cone of the Red Alliance rocket, bringing Red Alliance up to a score of 45. Blue Alliance still in the lead, and now here comes Nerd Herd. They scored one in their Red Al Blue Alliance rocket, but that next one goes wide. They're going to pick it up and try again here with 40 seconds remaining. Apex Robotics on red, trying to score another piece of cargo in level one of that Red Alliance rocket, but they're being defended against by the Prometheus. Prometheus. Moving back over to the blue side now, preparing for the Blue Alliance climbing on the HAB. There's three more points successfully scored now by Apex Robotics as we approach T minus 20 seconds until liftoff. Looks like Apex Robotics trying to line up for a level three climb, but now they've gotten stuck on that HAB platform. Over on blue, we've got SS Prometheus. They're up for 12 points on the Blue Alliance side with 10 seconds remaining. Let's see if 69, 19 on red. Commodore is trying to get up to level two, but they're not quite up there yet. There's five seconds remaining. There we go, we have CPR, they're making it up. That should be 12 points for Red Alliance, just as time expires. They're joined by Spartabots on the Blue Alliance side, getting to level one, just as we reach the end of semifinal number four. Blue Alliance will be moving on to the finals with a score of 89, and Red Alliance with a score of 75. It's some good matches here between our sixth and seventh seed of the Alliances. Number six will move on to the finals, but I do want to hear one more round of applause for our seventh seed of the Alliance. Let's hear it for 50.